Hey guys, today I got a really useful tutorial for you showing you how to use this old DSLR, this Canon 600D or T3i and how to use it as a webcam. So it's actually really simple and we're going to show you how to do it for both Mac and PC. So why would you want to use this as a webcam compared to your own webcam? Well, it turns out even this really old DSLR makes a much better webcam than the webcam on my really expensive new MacBook Pro because look at this, this is dreadful. I mean, I can't do a Zoom call on this. But instead of having to go out and buy a really overpriced webcam, try using your old camera. Now, head to the link I have in the video description. Of course, select the operating system that you're going to use. For this, I'm first going to show you how to do it on Mac and then go ahead and install that. Your computer is going to need to reboot. So we're just going to open the side here. We're going to pop in our regular USB cable. I bought one that has USB-C slot at the end so I don't have to use a dock. So you're going to pop that in. And after that, what we're going to do is just go onto like a basic webcam checker test. And as you can see, it's being recognized as a webcam. So let's have a look at how to do it on Windows. It's pretty similar, actually. Head to the Canon website. There's a link in the description. And obviously, press Download for Windows. Open the installer and follow the on-screen instructions. When it's finished, plug in your camera and then turn it on. Then go to the Windows menu, type in Camera and open up the Cameras app. All going well, you should see your new webcam. Now, one more thing you probably want to do with this is use in OBS. So I'm going to show you how to use in OBS. So I assume you have OBS downloaded and installed. So go ahead and open up OBS. We're going to press Add Scene, Add Video Capture Device. We're going to select the Canon EOS Webcam Utility. And there you go, the webcam has been recognized. It actually recognizes it uh, bigger than widescreen, actually in the full resolution of it in photo mode. The first thing we need to do is unlock the preview, which I just did. Then we're going to go to transform and fit to screen. We're going to right click and go back to transform and edit transform. Now for left and right, enter in 120 each and for top and bottom, 68. Lock the preview again and then your webcam will fully fill out the widescreen canvas. Don't forget to add in your microphone, add an audio input capture, and then add in your MacBook microphone or your computer microphone. And obviously you'll know it's working when you see it light up. And before you know it, as you can see, it's set up as a webcam. You can record videos in OBS on it. You can stream in OBS on it. And of course, you can just use this for Zoom, Skype, and everything else. Now the Mac does have a few feature limits that will not work with FaceTime and select other programs, but it works really well in Chrome and not Safari. And here we go. Here we are recording in OBS on my gaming PC in Windows 10. And as you can see, it runs absolutely fantastic. It records at 720p HD, but obviously I'm recording this on a 1080p canvas. And yeah, it works as it says on the tin. And it's very high quality. So even though the resolution isn't very high being 1080p, you know, even this webcam here is 4K, the actual image quality that's coming out of the sensor is obviously far and beyond the quality that a webcam would give you. Another cool thing that I know is because we just experienced it there, it actually doesn't recognize it as uh, the video mode on the camera, but actually the regular photo mode. So we got a taller image, but because of that, the ISO on the camera can also be bumped up beyond 3200. It can go as high as 6400, which is obviously what comes with the still version. So that's how you can use an old Canon camera like the T3i or 600D on your Mac or PC as a webcam. I hope you guys find that really useful. And of course, you can avoid those price gougers who are trying to sell you overpriced webcams. Do not buy an overpriced webcam. Just use what you have. And actually, the image quality on this is pretty good. I've seen a lot of people put dummy batteries into this. Basically, you can plug into a wall like for power forever. And they use the stream stuff and the quality on it's absolutely phenomenal. You know, it's much better than a MacBook webcam. But thank you guys so much for watching. If this helped you, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And of course, give the video a thumbs up. But I hope you guys are all staying safe and well wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.